Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 2 and 2, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Hello, all. What's up, Matt? Hello. There's a the price on your head. It's called the Mandalorian cast. <laughs> yes. So talk to me about what you thought of the first episode. First of all, I would just like to say a big congratulations. It's been years in the making for a Disney live-action show. And to be overseen by not only Don Favreau, the animation god himself, Dave Filoni, directed this first episode and is co-producing it. I think it was an amazing start for continuity. If no one is familiar with the Mandalorian's backstories, they were all explained in the films a bit with Django and Boba and all the expanded stuff. Pedro Pascal's um, Mandalorian, I thought, oh God, I've seen, in the trailers there's been nothing of his dialogue for such a long time. I was so happy with his voice. Me too. And I, I think what they've done for this starter, it's now five years after Return of the Jedi instead of the original three years, so the Empire is still a bit like scattered. I was surprised there were stormtroopers in this first episode because yeah. you think they'd all be disbanded by now. And I've also quite like, oh, Tiki Watiti as IG-11. It was quite, quite nice having him do that voice. Yes. That He's I got that nice like, flair. It's got that nice alien and practical yeah. effects thing, which is quite nice for an opener. And I just thought it was too short for an opener, but it was still wonderfully condensed. I know it's the next part as this Friday, but it was wonderfully done. I like how, like, you saw that he had all these people in carbonite, and he doesn't screw around. And this guy, all right, I'll just put, <laughs> yeah. I'll just put you to sleep. I'm, I'm and put you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for somebody not to pay and then go, okay. Here's your prize, and just drops him somewhere. In but it's funny how they they evolved the technology so fast, where you don't need to be dropped in a chamber to be put in carbonite. So it's like a quick boom, you're in there. Yeah. You know, it's no, like oh, you know, yeah, like that guy that was trying to get out of it. Like, no, nope, I'm just going to the restroom. I'm going to see if there's an escape pod. Sees all right. them, and he's like, uh oh. Yeah, that was that was the, one of my favorite scenes. That and the creature biting the ship's like landing pad like oh, and he did just blasting it yeah i love oh, that yeah. and also that bit with um him talking to those ugnot species guy who said to him um that i know of mandalorians of old and i read good. about them so it was quite nice i think every scene was just works well with this stuff. but that ending scene was really like a what that's what they were talking about or we were talking about in the last cast you saw the cast yeah so no, I was just about to, but then we just hopped on here. Oh, you didn't see the kiss. Okay. Yeah, we were talking because the thing that I was worried about is, and Chris and everybody was that, you know, don't say that every single member of Yoda's race, which is billions of people, are all Jedi. You know what I'm saying? Like, so in other words, that's kind of weird how you see somebody from Yoda's race and it's like right away, oh, he's going to be the Jedi Master next. Like, just because if he's in the same race as Yoda, that's... Yeah, unless. I I'm still like it's 50 years old and still looks like a baby. No, that's not Yoda, though. No, the, no, the species is, but it's not him. But I was just like, why is it like a baby And like, if he's 50 it's, years it's, old? Who's 50 years old? Well, they said the package is over 50 years old when they got the message. Well, the, the, the thing is, Yoda is like the species is an alien. So he's 50 years old could be like a time lord being 100 and being an infant. You know, like Yoda, like the Yoda race, the baby, baby could be 50 years old. Yeah, because he said he was over 900 years old, Yoda did. Right? So you don't know how the, what the thing is. But I, I, I just, I'm just worried I, that they don't make the whole season out of it because I, I want to see, I, I want to see him jump around. It's going to be like a two or three episode thing, like I said, and then they may, they may arc it to maybe the last two episodes well, just, uh, well, if you know, it's for a bounty hunter he does quite have that traditional mandalorian so i like I mean, that that he's skilled um but i also like it too he's not like boba fett like he actually yeah, would have killed the kid there and there this right just like, he's, he's like got moral compass like type of thing like he something happened to him he's not like all mandalorians and but he's like a hero in a sense too you know He's not like a villain. He's kind of like a hero. 
though, because he stopped that droid, but he still wants to know about the bounty that he's going to get. And also, too, the guy was paying him less, so he could have just shot him. And, yeah, and yeah. if he got paid, if it was Boba Fett, if he was shooting him, he wouldn't accept any less money. You just, you know, that's no, it. No, exactly. So they got to do all work. You got to make some money in this galaxy after the Empire. Which was quite a nice callback that they said that the Empire's gone with the Imperial credits, and he was like, was not having it. I like it how he says the payment is not even enough to fuel my ship. Like, like, like he was saying, how much it costs to fuel the ship? It's like, that's not even enough for gas. Like, kind of like, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I, know you, I know you go to a petrol station now here, yeah, and then it's like, it's still not enough. I mean, if it's 5,000 credits not enough, then something's wrong in that galaxy. Yeah. So... Uh, I'm very happy. I, I just wish Disney Plus would have had at least a Marvel. They're holding off. To, to, they're, like I said, they're probably doing the same thing in which uh, which uh, the which they did with the Titans with another. Is that that here here here's your introduction? Yeah. This this show will bring you in, and then yeah. it will give you other stuff oh, later on. Because if you geez. notice, it's during the trial period of Disney Plus that they gave you the Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah, it's just seems but do you like the opening they did um just before the opening where it has like Darth Vader, Kylo Ren and R2 and all them like at the start of it, like before they be like Titans when they have all the heroes showing. Mm-hmm. I quite like that. And then the Mandalorian Titans got renewed for a third season too, right? Yeah, yeah so it's quite happy with that. Yeah. And so Doom Patrol saying, we're gonna get I a trailer. Soon. To somebody on uh, at work is this last episode, it was good, but it felt more like a filler episode. We're going to get a trailer for Doom Patrol Season 2 soon, I'm sure. Yes, that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. Yeah. So, in, in the way, so I'm just going to... I think it, for, the music as well was really... Oh, amazing. I love the way this style was of that. I love that. Yeah, that opening scene of him, that music is just like, yeah, this is definitely going to be his theme throughout the entire season. That music's just like iconic. Or I know it's not John Williams doing the music. I know it's a different guy, but it's got that feel that he's doing it. I like it. I like it's different. You know, uh, it looks like Spider Man won't be on Disney Plus because it's Sony, oh. which is which is interesting. Um, you know what? Sony's got to get themselves a network. That's uh, probably going to be next. It'll be on Netflix. I know. I know. That's what we have. Well, what do you think of all um, like, then I was saying that all of like Loki and WandaVision now tie into the second Doctor Strange. They're prequels to it. I mean, I, I'm i looking forward to that. Oh, did you see the, the, the edit that was in Star Wars A New Hope? Um, oh, about Paul Grimm. How many times McCluck, did they keep doing McCluckley. McCluckley, you saw that? Yeah, I was just sorry. How many times can that I can't seem to getting edited? I don't know. I, I they said that George Lucas did this this version. Why would they? Why would they just? I'm getting annoyed with that nonsense. Yeah, I know. What's next? They're gonna have more singing in the Return of the Jedi. How much more are they going to put into that musical number? No, they're probably gonna have more. Uh... That Jawas, but <laughs> oh, next in Jawas Palace, you'll have Zach Efron in the background, like actor for hire. Yeah. So uh, we got the reviews in for Charlie's Angels, and uh, mixed reviews. <laughs> wow! Is it niche? Like I said the next movie I want to see is um, is Knives Out. I yeah. Yeah. Oh, we should. Let me. I wanted to stick with. I just want to finish with Charles Angels. Uh, Kristen Stewart is scoring the most praise for a portly fun turn in the film, and the film overall so is said got to be more more expression in her face. Is that it? Is that what they're praising? I don't know. Uh, said to be. She said that she's solidly. She is. <coughs> so, so, yeah, I can't even say the word. She's very entertaining in the movie, uh, and it's grounded in action. Uh, I said the script and the story have some issues. Overall, it's a bit bland. Uh, it's better than it could have been while also not being quite good enough to warrant any future installments. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Charlie's Angels is a heavier chunk of escape than any previous Angels incarnation. If the early 2000 films were pop, this one is metal. Okay. Oh, God. The real the asset. Daniel's first, Br- first two. 
yeah, the, the real asset Bra- uh, Banks brings to the movie, though, is her own perspective. She builds the whole project on a scaffolding of sisterhood that feels so natural. Oh, it good. highlights the Hollywood's historic... pants. Yeah, let me finish. It's, it highlights Hollywood's historic failures <laughs> in this regard. Yeah. Uh, Charlie's Angels is undone by overly extended fight sequences, a generic storyline, plus an inability to focus on the parts that actually generate some goodwill and smiles. Damn! <sighs> and they were going to do a true reboot of Charlie's Angels. It should have been Netflix on HBO doing it. I mean, this is not technically a reboot. It's technically a sequel. Yeah. Uh, the overall look of the film has a shiny, empty appearance of a newly rehabbed condo that <laughs> quips about oh. women's love of cheese and gigantic closets that have similarly hollow, sassy greeting card feel. Wow. That's They're basically bad. the Kingsman for women. That's bad. Oh, what, my what, was God. It's, called that. it's basically the Kingsman for women. Was that some John in there? I don't know. Oh, my God. So, I, ultimately, they don't like it. Let's just let's just really? be honest. Really? What was your first clue? Yeah, they, they, they said it's going to be a soft opening, meaning it's not going to open good at all. <laughs> yeah. Now, remind yeah. me, was in that woman Ariana Grande or something? I think they have uh, cameos as other angels or something. Her and uh, some music women, I guess. But who cares? That's good stupid. morning, good morning, angels. Not this remake, you know. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, really? so, yeah, we just woke up because we watched our own movie. <laughs> God. So, because Joe... it puts us to sleep. <laughs> it's it's like it's coming out, and it's like nobody gives a shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, Charlie's Angels would have worked if there was a oh, sort of competition God. now, and it was the right casting for it and story. Yeah. Uh, I just want to touch upon the YouTube situation because. A lot of you guys are asking, so I'm going to add a little bit each time to the, the Everything Show. Um, a lot of crazy stuff is happening with YouTube's yeah. policy and procedure. Nobody knows what the hell is happening. Um, YouTube came to talk about it. YouTube came out and tried to answer our questions, but it only led to more questions. So. Ultimately, again, I even when I uploaded the video a little while ago, I had a warning thing on there that they wanted me to fill out like a document or something about, you know, questioning every video. And, you know, first of all, I, here's the thing. This is the way I feel, right? YouTube should not allow kids to go on YouTube. Of course. Yeah, just have their okay. section. YouTube kids. They, they, the parents should be controlled of the YouTube channel. Yes. All, yeah, they got all the YouTube videos should be for 18 and older. So the, yeah. fact, so the fact that I have to go and fill out a paper for 8,569 videos to say Pardon. that they're all not for children is also a problem, too, because... Now you're saying that you're going to restrict my videos when nobody sees them. Like, put it in the same category as, like, you know, something that's not appropriate. Which means that every single video of mine is going to be flagged and not monetized. So, like, I I, I am not, here's the thing. I am not privy to what YouTube signs or what they they do, wheeling and dealing. But you need YouTube needs to change their effing site yeah. to where you're not punishing the content creators for these lawsuits that you're losing or whatever, but you just make it that kids can't watch the video unless they get their permission from their parents. The problem, is, the problem is you can put a tag in there, which to you seems nice and innocent. It means it could lead you. But the problem is that tag uh, is like, oh, it could lead you to – this show, this uh, listen, every uh, video inadvertently be included in a kid's video that's not uh, listen, every video. single that's video, what, and that's what the algorithm is not recognizing. Every single video will say, fuck shit. That means it's not look, common fucking sense. 
There yes. are many people, even they do video game reviews, and they curse in there. And these are big YouTubers. You have yes. big multi-million dollar YouTubers cursing. So, like, no one's going to say that their video is for the kids because they're not for kids because they just said a bad word. Yeah. Like, so just, like, fuck off with that. That's the whole point. It's like, I, Unless you change your right fucking now. site instead yes. of making it where now. Now, what the fuck does that mean now? Does that mean that I have I mean, to put all my videos in private and everything can select? That's, like, retarded. So, like... It, it, now, if there was a quick... I mean, I don't know. You can check, say, not suitable for kids. Fine. Then but, then, again, I don't want to... That's the thing. But by selecting it, you're punishing... Listen. By selecting the shit, you're going to you're gonna fuck up your channel because yeah. they're going to make a way nobody sees your shit. Yeah. But, again, nobody that... The age of... You should not... They're not if you're not allowed to drink, if you're not allowed to fucking smoke, if you're not allowed to have sex, not allowed to do whatever, you shouldn't be fucking allowed with YouTube too. Make a fucking no. thing with that. No, you shouldn't. Yes, this is the nonsense. Is they, use, they use these spaces space while YouTube. Look, they need to govern their shit to make sure the kids don't go on here. But don't fucking punish. And it's the parents. The creator, like, to who the fuck has time to go to YouTube every YouTube single video? The YouTube, it's YouTube and parents' responsibility. Yeah, to the thing is, I am not. Who the fuck has time to go to eight thousand videos? And, do I have to go on every one? Like, it's ridiculous. No, don't, I mean, don't. I mean, I don't know. Why. Right Look, if the policy did listen, here's the, what they should do. This is what they should do. If the policy mm -hmm. starts December tenth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any video made before yes. December 10th, yes. you can't do shit to. It's grandfathered in. Grandfathered in. You can't do a fucking yes. thing. Leave exactly. them alone. Going forward, December 10th on. Yes, exactly. Put, put a little fucking check when you're going to put, like, you want to check to monetize. You want yes. to check that it's not for kids. Like, but not all these, this is how fucking yes. stupid they are. No. Forget about. Every single video that was ever done ever up until the 10th, that's it. Leave it the fuck alone. After Bingo. that, then you fucking could yes. put whatever check yes. shit you want. That's all. That's it. It's, it's Stop lot. going into – this is what kills me with YouTube too. Stop going into the fucking past and flagging a video of mine from seven fucking years ago. Stop it with this fucking editing and this stupid bullshit of – this video might be sensitive in 2019. Fuck off. How about just after your fucking date, when you have your new policy in place, yep. then going forward, you fucking yes. screw with yeah, the video. Yes. Warner Brothers has that now for their old content. They say it's a product of their time. So I'm, so, you, so, I'm so glad I kept all copies of original fucking movies on VHS or whatever so I could see the real fucking version and I don't have to fucking see the dumbed down of fucking... Or, you know, edited yeah, but shit. Warner Brothers doesn't censor themselves. At least they put the disclaimer on there. If you watch it, it's at your own choice. Right, it's your own fucking choice. I mean, like, stop cutting fucking Dumbo and shit. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yes, yeah, but as I say, YouTube has their own section. They have their own app now called YouTube Kids, but because it's been okay, so that's different, though. This is this is what kills me. And the kids that play video games, they're watching people. Review the game saying fucking shit and and yeah. like I need to and tell me call them on it. That's and they're multi million dollar subscribers. There's only one way that they won't get them with that is if they're just watching with the no commentary. You want to find a fucking you want to find somebody forty two thousand dollars per video? Do you imagine eight thousand videos? How much that is? Jesus Christ! There's no fucking way. That's ridiculous. So I don't know what the hell is happening. I really don't know what the fuck is happening after December tenth. You know, maybe they're going to shut channels down. I don't even know. It looks like they are. Of course they can. No, no, no. Of course they have. They have. They have. They, they the guy Markiplier. They, they fucking shut down all his fans that put out extra emotes, emojis. They shut their fucking yeah. channels down. You're talking like hundreds of fans lost their fucking channels because they put extra emojis out. Now they're trying to fix the problem. But they could do whatever the fuck they want to do. Nobody has a – this is a multi – listen, Google is a multi-billion dollar company. If you think you're going to go up against Google and you're going to fucking sue them, you're going to lose. they got the best lawyers. Yeah. they got the best team. So, no, they could do whatever the fuck they want. It might not be right, but they could do whatever – they could fucking close this channel down in five seconds. Yeah, but what's to get – it's like 
But YouTube. Yes, we know easy. that this will cause people to create a new platform. We know that this could cause someone to create yeah, something better that put them out of business. They don't care. Platform for so long, I don't understand why it's being like changed. I don't know either. But it is. Money, money, money. I don't know. It's not necessarily that. It's just they piss people off, and then shit happens. I mean, next thing you know, the government's going after them. But stuff, so. Chris Chibnall had that phone call about you at last. What they need to do is instead of instead of like going after friggin', they'll go after YouTube, but they won't have to go after Amazon that makes billions of fucking dollars tax rate. But whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're gonna close this cast. We're gonna go into another one. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye for now.